YouTube. What is up everybody, Tabby here. Welcome my friends to a brand new video here on the channel. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Alright then, so today we are gonna be talking about them light machine guns within Rainbow Six Siege. As you would expect and as is the case with any other first person shooter in the market, the light machine guns is a weapon class which is neglected by many. But still my friends, we have a total of 3 LMGs within Rainbow Six Siege and yeah I know the number is on the lower side but regardless, 3 is a significant number and uh, nobody really talks about them so that is the reason why I'm making this video. And yes, these LMGs in my opinion aren't made for competitive play if you're playing ranked or if you're competing in the pro league or anything which is competitive and not casual then there are better options. But if you're playing a game of casual and just wanna have some fun then rocking out these LMGs is a ton of fun let me just say that and you know just say that again it's an absolute shit ton of fun. For the simple reason being that it is different it is not your generic ACOG sight assault rifle which you're rocking or a SMG which you almost always use so when I was getting the gameplay for this particular video I had a lot of fun. So let's then talk about the LMGs which we have within Rainbow Six Siege. As I previously said we have a total of 3 of them and they belong to obviously 3 attacking operators. In no particular order then first we have Fuse with his 6P41 LMG. We've then got Capitao with his M249 LMG. And finally we have IQ with her G8A1 LMG. Now overall while I was getting this gameplay or in general you know when I'm just playing with LMGs one thing which I've definitely noticed is the fact that conservative play is rewarded. So to be successful just hold back don't rush into the objective because you are not using a shotgun or like twitches F2 or anything along those lines. Again this goes in general for every other gun or just your generic playstyle within Rainbow Six Siege but especially with your LMGs you've gotta pre-aim. You just gotta pre-aim. The reason for that is very simple, your ADS time is massive, at least if you compare it to any other class of weapons. You then just have to keep in mind that while you're entering a room or a hallway for that matter in where you'd expect an enemy just pre-aim, because if not then uh, it uh, can be a little difficult. Moving on, droning is also really important. Now yeah, overall you can say that what the hell are you saying, droning is important as it is and I agree on that. There are times when I'm using operators such as Sledge or Thermite and Attack, now these are the two operators with whom I'm really good with, I have the confidence as far as the gun skill goes. I can use their ARs all day long and still be good with it so even if I don't drone in and someone catches me by surprise, I have my gun skill to back me. Not the case with these LMGs though. Yeah then so I was finding myself droning into rooms you know checking all the corners the places where I could find enemies so yeah I was really using that drone. Just to give you a brief overview of light machine guns in general they come equipped with a very mediocre damage, a very low fire rate and a moderately high recoil. With the recoil yes if you've got the required skills then you can obviously control it and Tap firing is the way to go. So overall as you can obviously make out, if you're a rusher, if you just want to burst into the objective and take your enemies by surprise, then the light machine guns aren't made for you. But then again, if you're playing a bit of casual and you know, want to have a bit of fun, then LMGs are the way to go. Now out of the three LMGs that we currently have, my favorite is Capitao's M249. And honestly, I don't even know the stats on it, the damage, the recoil, the fire rate, I have no idea about it, but it just suits me and is better than IQs and Fuse's LMGs respectively. Again, it definitely boils down to your personal preference and one main reason why I like Capitao's M249 is to do with the operator himself, he's a one speed operator so with that LMG even though it's bulky in nature, you can really run. Now obviously one major benefit of a light machine gun is its insane firepower because it's got a humongous magazine size. Apart from IQ though cause on her LMG she's got 50 rounds in the magazine. On a basic level though if you take any rational player for an entire round you will not need to reload that light machine gun unless obviously you're using IQ's LMG and you really go ham with it. So yeah you've got some serious firepower to back you and you can really dump those bullets down range but yeah as I previously said you guys tap firing burst firing is the way to go if you go full auto 
that recoil can get the better of you. Before ending this video though, I just want to talk about the potential of seeing new LMGs added into the game. Because guys, go back to your year 2 roadmap for Rainbow Six Siege and you can clearly see that they're going to be introducing some new primary as well as secondary weapons. Now honestly speaking, light machine guns would probably be their last choice. They will obviously favor some machine guns and assault rifles and perhaps even shotguns. But with only 3 LMGs within Rainbow Six Siege, I guess we'd be happy if we could see another one. Now I know the majority wouldn't vote for it because again, we don't use it all that often. But perhaps to change things up a little bit more, a new LMG for a new operator. 4 new attacking operators is what we'll be getting and you know, one of them can come with a light machine gun. Just for a second though, it, you know, just a second ago struck me, what if a defender gets a light machine gun how will that change the meta because again no defender as of today the day i'm recording this video has access to a light machine gun and boy do i not love to see changes changing the meta for rainbow six siege really freshens things up and i would be happy with it so yeah then what do you guys think leave a comment letting me know the potential of a new lmg in the future perhaps even a defender getting a light machine gun for that matter be sure to leave a comment as always you guys are absolutely amazing thank you so very much for watching this video if you enjoyed be sure to leave that like that like is really important so make sure you click the thumb which is facing in the upward direction and as always if you haven't already then click that red subscribe button because it's meant for a reason right it's been tabby here and until next time, farewell. And just forgot to say, but I'll let this gameplay run by in the background. About a minute of it is left. You have found the biohazard container. Proceed to its location. Got your charge deployed. 